Hi, hello everyone. Welcome, Chirag, to this interview and interaction session. Please briefly introduce yourself. Uh, hello, my name is Chirag, and I'm from Bangalore. Uh, I completed my PUC in um, Diksha. I got a rank of two one five nine in J mains and nineteen twenty in advanced. And in bits, I scored uh three fifty nine like in uh, marks. That's that's a great credential to have, Chirag. Congratulations! Thank you. It. So Thank you. so you must have got. Best of the best choices in IIT and BITS, right? So, yeah. so how you decided to like make a final decision? Well, uh, I wasn't like keen on like pursuing computers itself. Mm -hmm. So, despite getting like CS in Pelani, I chose not to go to BITS. I had the I took the best what I could get in the IIT side, like you know. Okay. Okay. Great. So, Chirag, when you look at your two-year journey now, there would be a lot of wisdom, a lot of things you can share with the aspirants yeah. who are working now, right? So, yeah, first definitely. thing is, like, what do you feel is the main difference between JE prep and bedside prep? Well, in JE, you don't have, like, English and logical reasoning. Mm -hmm. And English preparation is not that easy i would say like like if you have like common sense you'd be able to like figure out what's right and wrong but when it comes to like meanings of certain words you'd have like either no idea or like you, mm -hmm. you'd have like you'd know what it is so it'll be difficult to get it get it if you don't know anything at all about the thing such kind of things would probably come like from reading a lot of books or maybe you like you'll get exposed to a uh, lot of words and stuff uh, that would probably be helpful, but then that's not something you can do like starting from 11th and 12th. Exactly. If you might have been doing it like since childhood, then it would probably be easy for you, but then otherwise it'll be rather difficult. Right. Uh, yeah. Apart from that, the science uh, part, it is not that difficult in bits at least. Uh, like if you know formulas, it's more than enough. You can figure out like most of the problems. Some problems you might have to like go back to the concepts and then figure it out from there. But then most of the problems are like much more simpler compared to mains and definitely advanced is like much harder than this. Right. So, so Chirag, now when you see this journey, uh, what is the thing which you feel is often ignored, but it is very, very important and crucial in two years of prep? Well, for me, uh, I ignored like reading NCRT for chemistry. Mm -hmm. This one played an important role in like pretty much every single examination that I went to, like JE, BITS and the others which I wrote, like VIT and MIT and stuff. This like questions asked from NCRT, which I had ignored up until the first mains attempt, like barely like seven days before the first mains attempt, I realized that I had to do this. So my first mains did not go that well, but then I had like an under month and a half or so for the second mains and by that time i had like consistently kept learning the various facts mm -hmm. and stuff and i managed to do better that's, the second. Great, that's a great advice actually and what are some common mistakes you feel students make during these two years which can be avoided well uh first of all is that like many people tend to like rush over the concepts and then end up doing problems and people like when they go ahead and study they want to like judge how much they've done by based on how many problems they have solved instead of how much time they have put or something like that but I, instead i would like rather say that it's better to uh, when you're like you're in the learning period like Suppose if you've already learned the concepts like from your coaching institutions, even before 10th, you can focus on solving problems. But if you're like completely new to it, like how I was, um, you like in the beginning until like middle of second year or so, you'll still be learning concepts itself. Uh, so I would suggest in that time, like give less attention towards problems and focus more on concepts itself. Uh, in these, in, because if your concepts are strong, even moderate questions, you are able to like solve them. Like many a times, people will solve the similar kind of question repeatedly for them to be able to like you know solve it later on. Mm -hmm. But then, if you know the concept and you can apply it properly, the moderate questions also will become easy. The only issue would be how much time you're spending and how much time it takes to recall that concept. 
that you can like practice it over when you're solving sums and stuff that's that's really a great advice especially if you are aiming something really nice so that that is nice so uh, chirag you took this series and yeah. you have in fact worked with us on certain aspects later after your bits right so how would you how would you rate this series in your prep particularly with respect to bits right Well, for my first attempt in bits, I had gotten like around two eighties, and in my second, it because in first attempt, like it was more about other examinations and stuff. Right. And since there was second attempt, I didn't bother much. In second attempt, I I took the bits at these courses. Uh, I was pretty much only solving the papers, and it that helped me get used to the time, uh, the the usage of time in this kind of particular kind of paper because you have bonus questions later on, right? So I'd say this one only helped me in terms of like, uh, you know, applying what I already know. Mm-hmm. Like I did not learn much out of the thing in terms of concepts or anything. I was only able to like you know manage my time more efficiently by giving to get to know about the examination, and because of that, it my marks drastically changed in the second attempt. That's great. That's great. And did you uh, like? Really get to attempt bits at uh, bonus questions in real exam. Yeah, oh. I did get to. I very had nice. like around twenty four, twenty five minutes left. That's great. So very nicely done. And finally, Chirag. So after two years of preparation, lot of free time you finally got in the previous one and half month. How you spent it? Uh, it's mostly like now. Now the college has started a little bit earlier, so. uh along with like doing the stuff when you turn 18 like the bank accounts and <laughs> all those kind of stuff and then the Very shopping nice. and all uh-huh. i i was watching entertainment like like uh, manwas and stuff like great it's like a comic great so, so that and then a couple of movies nice nice so thanks a lot chirag for sharing this useful information it definitely would help many students who are taking bits at this year And yeah, no wish you all the best for all your future endeavors. Thanks a lot, Chirag. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.